Okay. Hey guys. Sorry I've been absent for a while. Haven't really been known what to post videos, what kind of videos to post. So comment down below to know what videos you guys want to see. That would really help me. Well, there, this was kind of an interesting week for me uh, with the Patriots. You know, it's off season. There's not much going on. But football's back. And, or football will be back before we know it. Well, the Patriots made a couple, um, not surprising because I kind of knew it, but um, interesting decisions. Scott Chandler, I thought they might give him a chance because I know he was a disappointment this year, but I thought he did okay, and I thought they'd give him a chance to prove himself in training camp. What was more surprising was Brandon LaFell, which this is more like a goodbye Brandon LaFell type video. Uh, thank you for what you did, but thing about LaFell was, I'm going to start from the beginning. So we signed him two off seasons ago from Carolina. And he came here, and honestly, I was like, I had low expectations because every receiver we ever sign does not turn out to do very well. Well, we signed him, and we had Edelman, Amendola, and he actually took over Amendola's role as the starter, uh, not this year, but the year before that. He had like over 70 catches, nine touchdowns, played great against Green Bay, I remember that. He had a couple. He was really um, opening up the field for Brady, and he had a. And that was a really interesting uh, decision, obviously, because I didn't think it'd work out. But he had like seventy catches, eight hundred over eight hundred yards, nine touchdowns, and he played good in the against the, in the playoffs when we played the Ravens a Super Bowl year. He caught the game winning touchdown uh, with like three minutes left. They were down thirty one twenty eight. Brady throws a perfect ball to him, catches it. They win 35-31, and then two weeks later in the Super Bowl, he catches the first pass, uh, touchdown pass from Brady, and we go up 7 nothing. you know, we all know how that worked out. Well, that was great, and I was really impressed and happy with our, with how Brian LaFell had played all year. I was honestly shocked, because I didn't think he would work out well this year. I guess a long Super Bowl, long off season. he kind of broke his foot, kind of. He was in and out of a cast on his toe. And in his legs, so he didn't really play in training camp, so he was always behind the whole year. He was always behind the whole year. And then once when they finally decided to come back, they finally decided to bring him back. It was like week seven. He started practicing like week five, and he came back in like week seven, and he dropped. He was dropping a lot of balls, and he just wasn't physically ready to play. So I don't think he ever got physically ready to play from missing all of the all the uh, previous um, training camp, OTAs, mini camps, um, preseason games, regular season games. He missed all that time, and I don't think he ever got physically or mentally. Maybe mentally eventually, but I don't think until real, real late he ever got physically ready to play. So we know that happened with Edelman. He got hurt this year, which was really – after Edelman got hurt, you know, I thought, Brandon Fells going to start. He's going to take over this. He's going to play really well, and he's going to – take over this job like he did last year. But that didn't happen. He didn't catch a single touchdown all year. He had like 35 catches the whole season, I think. He did not have the kind of season, especially after the Edelman injury, that I expected. I know his injuries hurt him, so I'm not going to completely go down on him. But I expected more from him, especially after last year. He didn't really prove that we should keep him, I'll admit. But because of the injury from the last two years ago, Super Bowl, and his and everything, and how he was never physically ready, Belichick even said it once, he's not physically ready. I thought that they would give him just a, at least training camp, not cut him until at least after training camp, see if he can make the team. But the Patriots, honestly, they didn't have very much good weapons once all their injuries happened, and LaFell didn't step up, so I guess that's what he got. But... I want to thank you for everything you did for the Super Bowl year. You played great there. We could not have won the Super Bowl without you. I really, I just want to thank you, appreciate what you did. Now to move on, I want to thank you, Brandon LaFell. Now we're moving on to Scott Chandler. Scott Chandler, he, I was really excited when they signed him because I thought he could be like the next Aaron Hernandez type next to Gronk. Well, that never really happened. He never played a lot this year. I mean, he scored four touchdowns. I thought he did okay, but he never played. There was games where he played like 20 snaps, 25 snaps. There was games where he played 50 snaps, but it just was never – it's like he never could get into the rotation. Well, I just – 
it never worked out. So these two guys are gone, and I'm hoping we're going to draft a receiver and sign a tight end. I'm hoping we we got to sign a receiver because the wide receiver position is the number one need for my Patriots right now. we got Edelman, Amendola, Keyshawn Marvin, Brian Timms, but Edelman and Amendola are the stars. But now that we let LaFell go, you know, we, I trust Belichick, so we need to get some receivers in free agency. Sadly, Alshon Jeffrey got tagged, so we can't get him. But get some receivers in free agency through the draft. That Fuller guy from Notre Dame, I love him. He's a beast. Um, Sherd from Oklahoma. I mean, we need to get some receivers to help them. Well, that's it for this video, reviewing the Patriots' recent cuts this, this week. Well, um, comment down below, and if you're new, subscribe.